Hey guys, it's Lee. I know, it's been a while. Um, I'm sorry I've been missing in action. I have been extremely busy. I am on a break right now, and um, I have a school behind me, and I am about to go into another IEP meeting. So, um, I am, this is the last two weeks of school, this, the last couple of weeks, the reason I haven't been vlogging, and I, I'm sorry, let me set this on my steering wheel, I hate using this iPhone because I feel like I'm looking at the wrong place, but anyway, um, I apologize for being gone, I, it is the last two weeks of school, it is hectic as heck, <laughs> to say the least, um, you know, I got a BF in, and that's fine, I was fine with it, I I mean, I'm not, like, I'm very realistic. I understand. I just finished Nick Topic, and who knows what will happen next. So, um, but the last two weeks have been just nuts, and I haven't been able to vlog about the BFN or vlog about what I was going to be doing this cycle that I'm in now, um, because I have been, every night when I get home from work, I have been working, um, typing IEPs. I'm a special ed teacher. I know y'all, I think most of y'all know I work with deaf and hard of hearing kids. So, um, I've been doing individual education plans. And if you know anything about special ed, then you know, those are the, the plans that we develop every year for our students for the upcoming year of what we'll be working on. So, and we have to meet with all of my students, um, and their parents. And so it's just been crazy wrapping up that plus trying to squeeze in actually working with my students and then um, having also um, preparing for my church's summer day camp that I direct. My husband is the children's pastor at our church and I direct a full-time summer day camp. So this summer I get two days off. <laughs> I get Memorial Day, which is Monday, and I get July 4th. Um, I do schedule some time off for myself actually, but um, Anyway, I'll be working pretty much full-time all summer, and I'm the director, so I have to receive all the applications and review all of them and email all the parents and let them know that their child has been approved and is part of our day camp, and so I've been doing that in the evenings when I haven't been doing my real job. So, um, yeah, so 7.30 to 5.30 every day this summer. I'll be crazy, but um, it's good money, and um, it pays for our trip to Disney World that we go on in January every year, plus it gives us some fun money. So, um, or maybe even it'll be for fertility. I don't know. So here I am. Today is, let's, let me recap, um, real quickly. I only have a few minutes before I have to get in and get set up for my IEP, but, um, I started my period on Thursday evening of last week, but you only count because it was late evening. I started, um, I counted Friday, cycle day one. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and today's Wednesday, which would make me on cycle day six and a half, technically. I had the weirdest period ever. Um, I bled starting Thursday night through Friday night late, really probably till I guess, in the middle of the night, um, and even into like Saturday morning, I bled fairly heavy. Um, I would call it extremely heavy, actually. Four to four to five pads full. But then Saturday, I had very little. And then Sunday, I had spotting. And Monday and yesterday, nothing. And nothing now. I'm completely done. I was completely, technically, I, I was almost done Saturday evening. So, um, it was a very heavy first day and then it just kind of dwindled out so um i hope that's not a bad thing i think um maybe it has to do with being on the progesterone during the two-week wait i don't know so um as you know last month was completely unmedicated just natural supplements i have a very good friend who i met through fertility friend who um had her rainbow baby a few months ago, and so she had a lot of leftover stuff, and she sent me a care package, and I'll put a picture of it in right here. It was a really cool packet of stuff. I had um, several OPKs, a couple of cheap internet pregnancy tests. Um, she gave me a bag full of endometrin and the applicators. She gave me a dose, um, a month's dose of Clomid, a month of Femara, or Femara, Letrozole, however you say it, um, 
she gave me two unopened things of Fertile CM. So it was like a lot of nice stuff. The, the medications alone were worth plenty of money. Um, and she didn't ask for a dime, and I insisted, and she said no. She didn't even let me pay shipping. Like, I asked her several times, just let me send you something through PayPal, but she didn't. So, I'm going to figure something out. I'll pay her back. And she said she just wanted to see me pregnant. But, um, so, and then, as I was cleaning out my fertility cabinet in my bathroom, I found some leftover Brevel which is like gonal F, it's an FSH injection that I used in one of my injectable cycles a few months ago. Well, it's probably been a year ago. And it is just now expired, so I think it's probably fine. Um, but I was sitting there trying to decide what to do when. And um, I thought about it and I prayed about it and I talked to my husband and we decided just to go pretty easy this month. So I'm just using the Femara, the Femara, I don't know how you say that. Um, I've used that one other cycle that was back, it must have been a year, November. When this past November, it was a year, November. Um, so, a year Thanksgiving that I um, had it. And I came in for my ultrasound to check for follicles on Thanksgiving, like Friday. And it was just skeleton crew at the office. The ultrasound tech wasn't there. The doctor did it. So, I'm um, sorry, my camera messed up. Um... Anyway, so the one cycle I had of Femara, the, the, it was Thanksgiving weekend, and the ultrasound tech wasn't working, and the RA did my ultrasound, and I haven't really discussed this yet, but my ovaries are hard as heck to see. They, like, hide behind my bowels and way up high. Sometimes it's easier to see them on a abdominal ultrasound. It's really crazy. Anyway, the RA was, like, very frustrated. He saw my right ovary that, not that cycle, and I had, like, a 15 on my right and he never could see my left and he said let's just go by your blood work so at 7 dpo my progesterone was 25 and i had some very obvious ovulation pain around ovulation on the femora so even though i didn't see anything i think i did ovulate pretty well on it 25 is a pretty good number for ovulation so um I think that Femara worked for me. It didn't. I didn't get pregnant, but I do think it helped me ovulate. So I'm. We just decided that this month we would um, try that since it was in that care package from my friend. So I started the Femara on um, cycle day four. I was supposed to do it on like cycle day three, and I um, just didn't get to it didn't get it in time and so I started on cycle day four which is fine people do it three through seven four through eight and five through nine cycle days so I don't think it really matters but I started it on cycle day four which would have been Sunday night and then I did it last night with cycle day five and tonight I'll do it again and then I'll do it again Thursday and Friday Friday will be my last dose and I'm doing five milligrams which is two of the 2.5 milligram tablets so that's the plan. I'm staying on all of my supplements, my NAC, my fish oil, my green tea tablet, my folic acid supplement, my multivitamins. Um, uh, another thing, I can, I am on the prednisone still, and I know you can probably tell in my face. God help me. The prednisone has been tolerable, but I definitely know I'm on it. Um, I haven't been moody or mean, um, but I've been tired. I've gone to bed a lot earlier at night, and that could be partially due to everything that I'm having to get done right now and it being a busy time of the year. But I'm exhausted a lot at night. Um, I have got the munchies something awful. I have not lost any weight this month. Um, I know some of it's probably fluid because prednisone does make you swell up, but... Um, it's very frustrating because I want to put everything in my mouth. I'm constantly trying to eat something. So I'm trying to do things like nuts and all. But my husband brought home some jalapeno Cheetos the other day. I'm, I'm going to have to crank my car. I'm burning up. Sorry, guys. Um, my husband brought home some jalapeno Cheetos the other day. And I could have polished off the whole bag. Dang. Sorry. My 80s on 8 was on. 
Um, I seriously could have polished the whole bag off, but I had to just like tell him, don't bring those back to the house right now. Um, so, um, the prednisone, I, I decided to stay on it because it can help with egg quality and you don't have to just take it in the two week wait. You can take it all cycle. It helps reduce inflammation, which helps the eggs to grow in the proper condition. So, um, and it's supposed to work pretty quickly to help improve egg quality. So I am on it and I'll stay on it, um, this cycle. And then maybe next cycle, because the plan is if our cycle doesn't, if, if this doesn't work with the Femera, then maybe next month I will do the Clomid, which I always have responded well as far as developing follicles. I've gotten pregnant twice on Clomid. I got pregnant with my son, and our 15-week loss was Clomid. Um, I've had several BFN cycles on Clomid as well, though. So... You know, but some of those were a bust because I had a bad RE at the time who told me I wasn't ovulating and we didn't even try. And it's been quite a while since I've taken the Clomid, so that helps too. It's probably been two years. So maybe, you know, having that long break and then getting on it. But my plan is to do the Clomid plus those three little shots of Brevel, which is not a lot of FSH for me. I've had up to 225 IUs a day. This would be 75 IUs for one day times three days, which is just kind of, it's just, it would be something I would do after the climate and just give me a boost. But that's next cycle. We'll talk more about that later if the Femera doesn't work. But um, I do plan on staying on the prednisone at least through that, and then my prednisone will probably be gone. I will do the antihistamine protocol with the Claritin and the Pepsin once ovulation is confirmed in a few days. Um, it looks like I'll be ovulating sometime next weekend. Not Memorial Day weekend, but after that. So, um, school will be out, camp will have gone into its first week, so it might actually be good timing for me. Um, so yeah, that's where we are right now. Um, trying to think what else. Thank you for all the sweet comments and prayers about K2 and his crazy food pipe incident. That was crazy. Um, I'll do a vlog about that later. I don't want to get into it now, but it's a really interesting situation and it's something that as parents if you have children especially if you have children with asthma eczema other inflammation issues it's something that you might be interested in just having in your head um, because I had no idea about it and it makes perfect sense now that I know that my son has got this new condition so anyway but thank you for praying for him when we were at the ER and having to have the piece of steak removed from his food pipe Sunday that was quite an adventure um, if you don't know about that you need to be following me on Facebook because I posted it there um, but anyway I'll do another vlog on that so that's the, the plan we're doing Femera this cycle and timed intercourse lots of supplements I'm trying to eat healthy but this prednisone is killing me I can look at my face and see it it's just like bleh. but anyway so, I hope everybody's having a great cycle. I hope that BFPs come out of this one. Um, I'm praying for everybody that I talk to. If I say I pray for you, I do. I think about y'all and I throw your names to the Lord every night. So, um, I pray that everything's going good for everybody. And I wish you all good luck and lots of baby dust. And I will keep you posted as ovulation approaches and do an ovulation test probably on my vlog and let you know how things are going. So wish me luck. Maybe the Femera will do it. So thanks for watching and we'll check with you later. Bye.